What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko. Bro, I'm super, super excited. We've been waiting for this forever and I didn't think it was gonna come. It came so randomly. I was like, yo, please. And that's right here. You guys can see it right there in the corner. It says the newest forbidden and limited list effective February 7th, 2022. That's in a week. So it's a week away. We got a little bit of time to prepare for the next format. Super excited because I can finally make new deck profiles, new content. If you guys do enjoy the content, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. For more Yu-Gi-Oh videos. Now, that's it. I want to look into it. I heard it's epic. My friend just sent me this. So uh, yeah, let's look right into it. Okay. So yeah, here, effective from February 7th. You know what's funny? Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Okay, Protos and Eva's ban. Oh, this was at one. Yeah, they put it from three to one and they banned Eva and Protos. Okay, Protos we saw coming. I'm not gonna lie. Protos we saw coming. I'm not super like surprised about that. But what's funny here that I want you guys to notice this, because I noticed this right away, is right over here, usually it says the next update will be no sooner than a certain date. So the last one said January, or yeah, January something, right? Now it says the next update will be in a few months. So now Konami's not giving us any idea when it's dropping. It just says a few months. That's interesting. That's a, that's a new take. I, I haven't seen Konami do this before. Usually they give you like no sooner than, you know, October 12th, or, you, know, you know what I mean? But anyways. So this is a balanced reaction video, not a next update video, a reaction video. But yeah, so Protoss, okay, that's interesting. Eva is interesting. It means that they want to hit Drytron even further. Because I don't know what other decks would play Eva. Yeah, I thought it was, it was mostly just for Drytron. Okay, this is interesting. But I heard, my, so I got a message. I got a ton of messages. And one of my friends said, like, yo, the balance is kind of crazy. This is not that crazy. We, we um, I'm not surprised about this. We saw this. Eva is kind of surprising, to be honest. I didn't think that was going to get hit again. Scrolling down. Smorg! Yes, I called it, bro. If you guys check out my Twitter, I was literally on Twitter the other day and I was like, bro, what do I think is going to get hit for the Tri Brigade deck? It's the Bird of Sovereignty. Now, this makes it difficult because I do want it to update or I did want to update the Samorg deck profile. But honestly, without the Link 3, the Samorg is not really playable as a pure deck, unfortunately. But yeah, Samorg getting banned hits that deck super, super hard. Yes, they can still combo, but they can't end on like stuff like Barrier Statue that's protected or an Apex Avion that's protected. So that, that's actually really, really relevant. Um, and yeah, that's actually a pretty good hit. I agree with so so far. I like these hits. The Eva hit was random, but again, uh, the Samorg hit, the Protoss hit, uh, that's pretty good. So that's banned, um, which is nice. So let's slowly scroll down. Is there anything else that's banned here? Io, okay, okay. Well, can anyone really say that's a surprise? Imperial Order banned, that's not really a surprise. We all saw that coming, let's be honest. So, okay, well, okay, Io banned. So far, nothing has made me like jump out of my seat. You know what I mean? The Samorg ban was cool. The IO ban is cool. The Protos ban is cool. But I feel like this is all kind of bans that we saw coming or we like anticipated, right? Uh, IO being gone. Whoa. <gasps> Astrograph is that one. This Judo. Bro, this Judo is that one. No way. Tiger's that one. Destrudo's at one! Snow is at one! Yo! This isn't... Yo! Okay, Destrudo being at one is disgusting! Astrograph at one is crazy! Yo! Freaking, what's it good? Triff is loving this ban list, bro! Destrudo's crazy in Pendulum too. Um, I don't even know if the new Pendulum builds play Astrograph, but Astrograph at one is interesting. Fairy tale snow. Okay, I'm not. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I had no. I did not think there was ever gonna be a day where we see fairy tale snow back. Oh my god, is Colossus still banned? Oh, Colossus still banned. Oh, I was gonna say, could you imagine the Thunder Dragon players right now if Colossus was at one? Okay. Oh my god, fairy tale snow, Luna Light Tiger. Okay, Tiger. I can. That's interesting. But Snow is kind of broken, bro. People are going to start spamming. Not spamming, I mean, it's at one. But people are going to definitely be playing this card. It's kind of insane. Destrudo being at one is very exciting. So as someone who plays ABC, Destrudo is really good in, like, ABC decks. So, Destrudo is really good. And just in a lot of rogue decks and a lot of decks in general, Destrudo is a really good card. It's a really good tuner, of course. It always guarantees you a level 7. Okay. Oh, and the limited recital Starling. Oh, they, did, they really didn't want... Uh, they really didn't want, um, what's it called? Leolusk and Tri Brigade to be that much of a meta. Okay, so Recital Starling, interesting. I thought they weren't going to hit multiple cards. I thought, you know, the Samorg hit was enough. But Recital Starling at one and the Samorg being gone, I don't think Tri Burnup is going to be really played anymore. 
Like, you could have definitely still played it because at the moment we don't see, like, we didn't see Fractal or Nerval at one. So I was like, okay, you could still play the little scribe again. You just can't end on like a barrier statue or anything. But now it's kind of just like, wow. Now no, no, like one recital starting as well. That's pretty crazy. Oh my God, there's so many new cards here. Limited. Monster Gate. Okay. What's this? Wait. Pot of Desires? What? Why would they, why would they limit Pot of Desires? What? <laughs> why would they do that what was the what's the reason for pot of desires limit monster gate is interesting that's cool but i mean sure but pot of desires that's so random okay so nothing in the trap cards oh a bunch of cards at two. Ooh, hero lives at two fusion destiny at two nadir at two. Oh, this is scapegoats at two. <gasps> i don't care about circle scapegoats at two yo that's really good decks like trickstar would love this oh Oh my god, Nessie's unlimited, Joker's unlimited, Red Eye, that's fine. Right, get- Oh no! <laughs> Yo, there's no way they just unlimited skill drain like that. Raigeki right, being un unlimited is sure, Itali we saw coming, I saw this coming, I saw this coming. Yo, what? Okay, scapegoat is interesting. Skill drain. Yo, Eldritch is gonna run a mock. Eldritch is gonna run a mock in the format. Fusion Destiny at two doesn't really do anything. I mean, sure. I mean, it's not that crazy because you still play uh, what's it called? You still play Verite and stuff. So, Fusion Destiny at two is not that crazy. Nadir is a very interesting card to hit at two, um, but sure, I guess this is very OCG esque, by the way. So, if you guys don't know, if anyone doesn't follow the OCG, OCG loves doing this where they hit cards to two. Um, and the TCG never really did that. Like for the longest time, the semi-limit list was like three cards. Um, but yeah, all of the, all of these cards are new and they're all at two. Scapegoat is interesting at two though. That's really cool. This is like, this is cool. This is cool. Raigeki being at three is very interesting. I feel like a lot of people are going to start playing three Raigeki because there's not a lot of decks that can actually protect um, from destruction monster wise. So I think this is actually going to be a really interesting card, but skill drain at three. I never thought I'd see the day. Guys, I'm going to be honest, I never thought I would see the day where Skill Drain's at 3 again. Oh my god. This is, for what reason did they bring Skill Drain back? Regeki, sure. It makes Lightning Storm very, very important now. Makes Back Row Hate very, very important. Oh my god, this definitely shakes up the meta. I mean, I still think PK, um, PK uh, Brave is still going to be one of the best decks in the game, just because nothing here really affects them. I guess you could argue Fusion Destiny, because I know they played 3. In the deck, I mean, sure, you can play two Fusion Destiny now. I don't think that's a big issue. Um, so, yeah, that's. I still think PK Brave is going to be the best deck of the format. But this opens a lot of things up. Nadir's Servant doesn't really hit. Like, hitting this at two doesn't really stop Dogmatic attacks, really. You just play that two. Um, Skill Drain is going to bring Eldritch back into the meta. The Skill Drain alone is going to bring the Eldritch back into the meta. That's insane, bro. No way. Itali at three is going to be fun. Um, this is going to be really fun to test with. Regeki at 3 is interesting. Like, it's it's cool, but again, I don't think it's going to see that. Like, it might see play in the side deck. It's not going to see main deck play, though. Um, but Regeki being at 3 might see play in the side deck now. Because there's definitely boards that people have a hard time breaking. And just Regeki not once per turn. Boom, boom. Like, if, even if your first one gets negated, you Regeki again. So, um, that this is interesting. This is playable, actually. I could see a lot of going second decks want to play this over something like Dark Ruler now, actually. Because... The only reason I say that is because, like, sure, they can go Dark Ruler, you can't respond to Dark Ruler. But if my opponent puts up, like, a Negate or something, like, if I play Triple Regeki and I open multiple or something, I think Regeki just might be a better answer, to be honest with you. Um, so I can actually see Regeki being played. This is a very interesting hit, but... Or this is a very interesting card coming off the ban list, but Skill Drain, oh my god. Okay, so Maxi's still banned. There's that. So at this, at the beginning, I was not very shocked, other than the snow. Uh, the IO makes sense. Yeah, the snow here is kind of crazy. Um, the Strudo being back is crazy. Pot of Desire is very random. Very random. I don't... If someone could explain this to me in the comment section down below, please do. Because I really don't understand Pot of Desire is going to one. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. That's a really odd card to go to one. Um, but this is interesting. This is going to shake things up. Hero Lives being at two is going to be very interesting for hero players. Fusion Destiny being at two doesn't really hurt. In my, in my opinion, at least, I don't think it's going to hurt any of the decks that play it. Because, again, most of those decks are playing um, uh, Verte anyways. The, the, what this does hit, though, I'll be honest with you, what this does hurt more is the Sky Striker builds that play it. Because Sky Striker really relied on drawing into it. 
because it, Sky Striker is it's a lot harder for them to make something like Verte. Uh, so yeah, I guess they can hit that. But again, like PK builds, you're not really worried about it. Like in a lot of decks that played Fusion Destiny anyways, uh, you were like, hey, if I draw it, then I don't have to make the birthday step. But if I don't draw it, you always can make the birthday step. So I don't think this is a big hit. I don't think this is a big hit. This is interesting for Salad, but I don't think Salad's going to do much. Scapegoat being at two is going to be very interesting. Don't get me wrong. I think this is going to be really cool, um, especially in those control -y decks. It's going to be very nice. But Skill Drain, man. Skill Drain being at three is insane, bro. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I, this is interesting. This is a very good ban list. It, it, like it's, I can't even complain because I've been wanting and I've been saying that I think Konami should shake things up for the new year. And uh, yeah, they definitely shook things up with this one. This one's a big one. Uh, skill Drain, I don't know how that's going to play out. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like that's going to make things very difficult for people. Like people are not going to like Skill Drain at three. Otherwise, I think the rest of it is actually a pretty good ban list. I think it addresses what it needs to address. It hits everything it needs to hit. All the meta decks that, you know, that people wanted to stop seeing are probably not going to be seen anymore. Again, Desires is just a weird one in my opinion, but uh, yeah, no, this is a good, this is a good list. This is a good list. Approved. This is Spanko approved. This is Spanko approved. I like this. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. With that, Spanko, sign out. Peace.